Hey guys and welcome to this video. In this video we'll be proving the theorem that states that tangents drawn from the same point to a circle are equal. So basically saying that these two tangents PA and PB because they're being drawn from the same point to the circle that they're equal in length. Now I want you to realize that we're speaking about the length from the point of contact P to A. Okay, which is the point of contact of the tangent and the circle. We're speaking about that length. Okay, we're not speaking about this line over here. It's only from P to A. Likewise, this is equal to the length from P to B. Also the point of contact of the tangent with the circle. Now in order to prove this theorem, we're going to use another theorem to prove this. So the theorem is that if we have a circle and we have a tangent, remember a tangent is just a straight line that touches the circle at only one point. Okay, so we have the straight line touching the circle at the point B and we need to know that if we ever have a circle, the line drawn from the center of the circle to the tangent at the point of contact is always perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, so we're really just saying that OB is perpendicular to the tangent AC. And our reason for that is tangent perpendicular to radius. So we're going to go ahead and use that. So before doing this, we have to construct some lines here. And so the first line we're going to construct, we're going to join the points OA and we're going to join the points OB. And then we're going to go ahead and also join the points O and P. Okay. Now that we have joined all these points, you will notice that we have two triangles. In order to prove that these two lines are equal, we're going to try and prove that these triangles are congruent. So remember, we are required to prove that AP is equal to BP. So let's start off by naming these triangles. So in triangle AOP and triangle BOP, so if we look at the line OA, it's a radius and it's intersecting this tangent at the point A. Remember, the point A is the point of contact between this tangent and the circle. And so we know that this, that OA, is perpendicular to AP. And because it's perpendicular, we also know that the angle OAP is going to be equal to 90 degrees. But if we also look at the line OB, that's also a radius, and it's also intersecting this tangent at the point of contact between the tangent and the circle. And so it's also perpendicular to this tangent at this point. And so because of that, we know now that the angle OBP is also equal to 90 degrees. So we can go ahead and state them down that in both triangles, these two angles are equal to 90 degrees. So we're saying that the angle OA P is equal to the angle OBP because they're both equal to 90 degrees. And our reason for this is because the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So we can go ahead and say radius perpendicular to tangent. Okay, so that is one angle that we have equal in both triangles. The next thing that we can see, well, we could see that OA and OB they are both, OA is a radius and OB is also a radius, so they're equal radii. So we can go ahead and say that OA is equal to OB since they're both radiuses or radii of the circle. So we can say equal radii. Okay, so we have two things that are equal now. And then lastly, of course, we can't say PP and AP are equal yet. They're not equal yet. We have to find something else that's equal. So OP is a common side in these two triangles. So this triangle is sharing OP with this triangle. So of course they are equal since it's just the same size. Okay, so we're saying OP is equal to OP. And so this is a common side. And there we go, we have three things equal in these two triangles. So that will conclude that they are congruent. But let's go ahead and see exactly um, what kind of line this is. 
I want you to realize that this line is right opposite the right angle of this triangle. This line again, OP, is also right opposite the right angle of this triangle. And so this line is a hypotenuse. So when we're concluding, we're going to go ahead and say that triangle AOP is congruent to triangle BOP. And our reason for this would be, well, remember we had an angle being equal and that was a 90 degree angle. So that is right angle. And then we had this hypotenuse being equal. So make sure to check the kind of sides and angles that you had. So that's hypotenuse. And lastly, we had a radius, which is just a side being equal. So side. Okay, so this is the right angle hypotenuse side case for congruency. Okay, so here we go. Since they are congruent, remember that congruency just really means that two triangles are exactly the same, both in lengths of their sides and in angles as well. So because they're congruent, it means that every other corresponding side of these triangles are equal. Okay, so we already know that OB was already equal to OA. That will conclude we know that OP is equal to OP, but now that concludes that AP is equal to BP. So therefore, AP is equal to BP, and our reason for that is congruent triangles.